I am in Tirana, Albania right now. and Macedonia that I decided I had to come see it for myself and I'm really glad to be here. Super super excited to learn more about Tirana and Albania. But right now I'm standing in Skander Bay Square and Skander Bay was actually named after their national hero. So Skander Bay was made a national hero because like back in the 1400s he was responsible for gathering a bunch of the noblemen and resisting the Ottoman Empire for like 25 years so they named the square after him. One thing I found really really interesting about the square here is that the tiling or the flooring here is all made up from different regions of Albania and they put it here in the square to signify unity in the country which I absolutely love and makes the square really, really pretty. Something that was pointed out to me that I think is super, super cool and interesting is that if you notice, the sidewalks are lined with these white stripes and Actually, it's supposed to resemble music bars and music notes, and all these benches here are like the little notes on music. Super, super interesting. It doesn't, the melody, there's no melody to it, which I was kind of hoping for like a national anthem or something like that, but it's really fun to see like little bits of fun music and little art things like that around the city. Like. The donuts 
inside is actually a lot bigger than it seems on the outside. But an interesting fact is that there are really two different types of bunkers. Bunkers with this kind of mushroom dome top, or ones that go underneath. Now this one was one that flows down underneath, and they just made a dome after, and they made the museum to make it um, more attractive, I guess. But it's actually a little bit controversial, because some of the locals are like, why is this big ugly thing in the middle of the city? So some of the people kind of came and destroyed some of it, just to show how controversial something like this is. So the museum is 500 luck to get in, which is a little under $5. right at the entrance of the next room so when you walk by it like you get this sense of like I get startled every time because it looks like a person and some of them are kind of scary like this guy it's a little bit startling a little bit unsettling brings you out somewhere completely different than the entrance. But that was such an interesting museum and very interesting look into the past of how the communists controlled the country here and I can't imagine living in a time like that. I'm so super grateful for the place and time that I was born into. So interesting. If you have been Googling Tirana, you may have noticed the structure behind me pop up in all your research. It is the Pyramid Pyramida, and it was built in 88 to become a museum for the dictator Hoxha when he passed away, and has been many different things since then, broadcasting network area. But shortly, not that long ago, it was kind of um, abandoned and the government really didn't know what to do with it. So there was talks of demolition, talks of refurbishment, but they finally decided to refurbish it and make it into a um, youth center, which I think is such a great idea. It's so cool because it's humongous. The grounds are huge and I bet it would be really, really cool once when it's all finished. Also, when it was built in 88, this was actually one of the most expensive buildings that they built to date, or to when it was built, which is crazy. I also heard that there's this big, there was this big, I think, marble statue of Hoja inside in the same city position as Abraham Lincoln, and there's a skylight right above, and when the sun would shine, it would, like, illuminate Hoja. Very interesting. I have gated it off so you can't quite look inside, but... I thought it was going to be a pyramid all the way around, but it's actually just like the front part of the pyramid, and the back is kind of like a square rectangle building. I'm a little bit confused as to why it's blocked off, because it's really just blocked off from the front, but there's this pathway right back here that leads up right to it, so I'm confused why the front is gated off. So demolished and so trashed inside. There's a couch. I don't even, don't even know. 
but I bet it will be super, super nice when it's completely finished and re-renovated. I just walked a short ways away from the pyramid and I could cross this park and I knew I wanted to come here because there was something here that I wanted to see and it's this right behind me. It's a little piece of the Berlin Wall and Germany gifted it to Tirana to signify the end of communism here in the country, which I think is really, really cool. And you would have no idea what it is unless you already knew. There's like no signage, no placard or anything. So come here, give it a look. It's kind of, kind of cool. And I lied. There is a little placard right here. I was a little bit too close to it to really see it, but yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Like I said, during the communist times, there were quite a few bunkers that were built here. And in that same park as the Berlin Wall, there's like three of these little bunkers. There's like so close to each other. It's crazy. Alright, it is now dinner time. I am starting. And right now I'm in the Zona 1 Scari area and there's a whole bunch of really nice cheap restaurants lined up along this road. But the reason why I came over here is because there is this traditional restaurant that I've been hearing so much about and I need to try it out. And it's called Oda and it's actually a little bit hard to find, I find, I found out. I mean, unless you have GPS and it's easy. But there's, it's not on the, the main street here. You have to turn down a little alleyway. And right now it's even more difficult and obscure to find because the building right here is covered in tarps and scaffolding and it's like a jewelry shop. But you have to turn down there and that is Oda, the Albini International Restaurant. Thank you. 